Hello everyone. How would you like to enjoy a nice cool crisp cucumber Asian salad at home with the convenience of picking up ingredients in your own pantry? This is a recipe I first tasted at a restaurant called Ding Tai Fung when my family went out to dinner the other day and my kids have been craving and asking me to make this at home and I figured the ingredients were right here in my pantry and I whipped up this batch for you. So come, let's go into our kitchen. I have about three English cucumbers. I've already chopped up one into these kind of pieces. You slice the entire cucumber into half and then go about slicing up to this. Okay? And uh, make sure to discard the edges and then slice. Okay? And uh, we're going to marinate it with one teaspoon of salt. We're going to chop it all and marinate it for about 30 minutes in salt and then drain all the excess water that is going to be released from the cucumbers and uh, that will actually absorb into the cucumber and then the water will be released. So discard that and then we'll come back and add other ingredients. I cut it into half, lengthwise. So it's all sliced up. Let's toss it in the plastic container make sure you get a snug lid container because we're gonna shake it all up so it's easily blended okay don't need to use any spoon and this is the best way to make kids eat their vegetables and uh, this is so yummy and crunchy that we just love this in our home my kids especially devour them so let's go ahead and toss it go ahead and snap it shut and lock it tight. We're gonna shake the entire box, okay? Just carry it in your hands and shake it well. And let it sit for half an hour and we'll drain out the water. So while my cucumbers are marinating, let's go ahead and make the little sauce. I have about six pods of gar garlic that I'm gonna put through a press and uh, we'll squeeze it out. There's a wonderful garlic press. So all our garlic has been pressed. Let's go ahead and add some sugar. I have erythritol as sugar substitute. We could add about four tablespoons of that instead of sugar if you want to cut down on calories. Since you're eating something so healthy, why ruin it with some real sugar, right? You can use cane sugar or you can use uh, any, any other substitute you like. I like my monk fruit. I go ahead and add that. And let's go ahead and add our uh, sesame oil, three teaspoons. This has some nice strong nutty flavor, so I'll add three teaspoons of that. One teaspoon of the vinegar, rice wine vinegar. And then we'll add, use always a dry spoon for your chili oil. Mix it up well. There is a nice video on how to make it at home using ingredients in your pantry. Okay, always give it a good stir. Never use a damp spoon. And then add a nice spoon full of it. Or depending on how spicy you want yours. I like mine spicy. Okay, so go ahead and add that. And give it a good stir. This will be your little sauce that goes on to it it is going to be so yummy and delicious and you get to toss it with the cucumbers let it just sit and marry each other we will just wait till our cucumbers are ready to be tossed in definitely go definitely go ahead and sample your sauce and make sure all the spice and everything is good very yummy Wow, it's been about half an hour since our cucumbers have been marinating in the salt. So remove the lid and let's toss in our sauce. If you notice, there's enough of water 
do you see that there's a liquid that has been released from the uh, cucumbers because we added the salt and um, once we add the flavors it will all be good some people rinse the whole thing but I prefer to keep all the nutrients in the cucumbers so toss in the whole sauce and we're gonna put the lid back on and shake it up this is a very simple recipe if you have your chili sauce ready okay snap it in place and shake it make sure everything is combined well and we will sneak a peek and serve it up okay it's all shaken let's go ahead and serve it up din tai fang style you know they stack it up so beautifully but those are in circles that we have in nice circles i'm gonna try my best hang in there so there you go drizzle with some sauce extra sauce from the pan and add a pinch or two of sesame seeds. Ooh, look at that. Can you imagine? You can do this all at home and serve it well. Looks pretty good to me. Okay. All right. Enjoy. Make this for your families. And let me know what you think in the comment box. And uh, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, keep watching for more videos. Bye. Let me take a taste of it. Wow. Yummy, guys. You have to try this.